How's it going guys? It's Axel Shana HD here and welcome to a brand new Heyday video where today I'm gonna be giving you 5 tips on how to level up faster in Heyday. Let's get started. Starting with number 1, fruits and berries. In my opinion the best way of leveling up faster in Heyday is to focus on your fruit trees and berry bushes which means you plant a lot of them you plant a lot of them and you take advantage of the xp the fruit trees that give the player the most xp are in fact olive tree and banana tree with 2.5 xp per hour and overall the biggest amount of xp during the tree's whole lifespan are by the lemon tree and the banana tree it's gonna be a lot of XP coming your way. If I can find a graph, I'm gonna put it up on the screen right now, which will tell you which are the most uh, valuable fruit trees and bushes. So if you've got a free choice, if you're high level and you just wanna focus on the XP side of things, then go for the olive tree and banana. But obviously when you plant a lot of fruit trees or berry bushes you will run into problems especially with uh, the dead trees dead trees dead bushes and if you don't have any sauce and you're just gonna end up getting ugly brown dead trees here and uh, everywhere then it's not nice so the solution to that will be very simple and it's the farm pass you don't even need to pay for the top path of the uh, farm pass you can still access two five star tom boosters during a farm pass month season the first one is quite easy to get in 225 steps and the second one is here at 600 so use those tom boosters to gather saws and then chop down the trees and and the most efficient uh, berry bush to go for both xp and coin wise if i remember correctly is the blackberry bush but the craft should be up on the screen if I've managed to find it. I've created that craft myself and I'm actually quite proud of it. Okay, next one. Strawberries overnight. It's quite hard for me to show because I've already got chili in here growing. Do I have a free slot? I don't think so. But yeah, strawberry takes 8 hours to grow and a good healthy human being should sleep around about 8 hours per night. So when you go to sleep, you fill your uh, fields with strawberries. And it's gonna give you not only a lot of coins, but a lot of XP as well. So basically you're not gonna slow down your other things because you are not gonna play the game in the middle of the night anyway. Or at least you're not expected to. So strawberries, very good way of uh, getting XP quickly and I would also recommend the chili pepper, obviously I've got the task so I'm only doing it for the task this time but 4 hours for the chili pepper, it's also gonna give you a decent ratio of uh, XP quickly. So those two crops are something you should be aiming for. Number 3 farm pass, this is quite an obvious one. We've got a lot of great XP rewards. The higher the level, the better the XP. Obviously, the amount is higher. That's that's an obvious factor. But ratio between the XP you're getting and the required XP for you to level up will be better in the higher levels. So if you're gonna do the farm pass in level 20 and you're gonna do the farm pass in level 92, you're gonna move up in your level a lot more in level 92 if you know what i mean so they do get better even even when you put them in relation to the required xp so yeah what i'm trying to say basically is if you're a low level it's not gonna really give you that much of a boost in levels but still go for it go for it so we've got for example on my level 30,000 xp sitting there in five steps very easy very easy a piece of cake to get to five steps then we got 61,000 at uh, 275. We've got then the big the big boys here. We got 150,000 XP, and we got on the on the costly side 
the premium side we've got 270k XP as well. So farm pass, you don't need to really do anything too special to reach the end. You just gotta really plan your order and what you focus on at the time and you should be able to get those XP's pretty quickly. So for me basically it's if I complete the farm pass and buy the top side of the road, which I don't always do, I do it pretty much every other month, then it's pretty much one level of XP for me at this level. But it's not gonna be quite one level at lower levels, as I told you. Number four, friends bar exclamation marks. And especially at the lower levels, obviously this is something that you are very used to. Sometimes, well, I don't know if people really just randomly go to the exclamation marks or do they just do it when they have a help task. I don't really do it that much, but low levels obviously uh, are gonna give you a better probability of being able to complete the orders because the items are not that complicated or rare. So if you got a lot of low level players in your friends bar uh, and you go to the exclamation tab, please start from the lower levels because otherwise you're gonna end up losing your motivation. If you just start from high levels, and you just don't have the resources. Friends bar, exclamation tab, low levels, and find the boat orders, find the truck orders, and if you are a patient unit, if you are a patient human being, do also go for the town orders. I pretty much always ignore the town because I just can't be asked with it to just wait this little loading always and then just notice that I am not able to do it and then just go back, so yeah. But you got boat, you got truck, anyway. And final tip number five, focus on your dairy and sugar meal. The two most important machines in the game of AD. Here is a graph, ladies and gentlemen, which is very beautiful and absolutely mind-blowing. So <clears throat> that should give you a rough idea on how you start going through your item process in AD. And... Obviously you can choose to ignore that and you can just go for whatever you can do. That's a good strategy as well. But especially if you're in a stage that you just can't really keep track of your bar items. You've got really bad balance. You are missing a lot of important items. And uh, you just never are able to complete any truck orders. Please do start with dairy and sugar meal, the two most important machines. And the items that are produced with the dairy or the sugar meal, the cream, butter, the cheese, goat cheese, brown sugar, white sugar, syrup, those products are used to so many products of other machines. You can see the numbers in the graph on the right hand side. So those machines, because they then give the opportunity for you to use those items to so many other products that are made with other machines, those are the most important machines for you to use. Obviously use as many machines as possible, but it is important to have some kind of picking order of which machines are more important than others because that's that's when you keep track and that's when you are able to always have the important products that you will need in the game. Hopefully you knew what I mean, that's a bit complicated. So what this means Practically, is that you need to make sure you've got a lot of cow feed, I got 15 at the moment, and that you have sugar gain, which I don't really have too much at the moment. The chili task is slowing me down, but thankfully it is somewhat easy to find them from the newspaper. Obviously, the, higher, the lower the level, the easier it will be. But yeah, use those to your advantage and then start building your other resources through these machines if you are busy obviously if you got a lot of time to play you don't really need to stare into this craft because you can just uh feel all the machines at the same time but if you're busy go with those machines and that will then open you the opportunities okay that's clear hopefully thanks for watching this video make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe from below if you haven't already done that and we'll see you next time take care peace